What's up folks, this is Gray here, and today we're gonna to look at a couple Black Friday specials that are going on uh, in regards to DIY solar. A lot of you folks are always planning for the worst case scenario, like myself, being that if the grid goes down, we need power. Outside of our portable power stations, what else could you do? Now this is, to me, is gonna be an entry level stuff here, uh, at least from my perspective. And we're not gonna to go too deep into these two products, which is the Power Queen, uh, which is basically a lithium iron phosphate deep cycle battery, and also the LFP series inverter charger by SunGold Power. Uh, I'm gonna give you some basics and some overviews of these two products and kind of drop links down below in regards to what they have to offer. You can further your research by looking in those links, but I wanna let you know that we will be building a DIY solar kind of situation here. I'm gonna be using this inverter here, be using this deep cycle battery, and most likely I've been pondering what solar panel I wanna use, and I was thinking what would people easily get, have the availability to get, and I figure Harbor Freight, the 100 watt solar panel. So of course those are, I forget what the price is, but I'll stick it up somewhere on the screen here so that you can see what I'm specifically talking about. But uh, all in all, there's a lot of sales going on this Friday. Actually, some of them have even started. Uh, but this is one uh, I wanted to go over really quick because this is something I myself am gonna be working on. There'll be future videos uh, detailing more specifics of the battery uh, and the inverter as well. And this goes way beyond an inverter, I'll be honest with you. Uh, this is a 3000 watt uh, LFP power sine wave inverter. Uh, it's also a combination uh, battery charger, AC, auto transfer switch, low frequency, low idle current, BTS cable uh, box. Wow, that's a mouthful, right? Anyways, I wanted to get it specific so I had to stick some notes so that I don't get that wrong. Anyways, the 3000 watt inverter uh, here is going to take 120 volts AC. I'll get up and close and show you a couple of things as I'm sitting here talking. Uh, to give you an idea of what it can do. But anyways, 120 volts uh, VAC uh, input and provides 120 volt VAC output power for appliances. And it can uh, also put an output of 50 to 60 hertz via this SW4, which is a switch that you would use on the side of this. And we'll get up to that, but that's in the instructions when you're setting this up, uh, depending on where you live. If you live overseas, you live over here, you know, and all that stuff like that. So it's always your frequency that you got to be attention to, pay attention to uh, when you're building something like this. Uh, mostly here in the U.S., we do 60 hertz, uh, but who knows uh, what other folks got going on. Anyways, this thing does have an AC battery uh, priority. Uh, the inverter is designed with an AC priority by default. Uh, and you can choose the battery priority with the SW5 switch. Like I said, these switches are on the side here, as you can see now, where I'm kind of showing you right there where the switches are, so you're gonna set all that up when you first put this together. That being said, it has an adjustable charging current, which is nice to have. The max charge current can be adjusted from 0% to 100% uh, via the linear switch. Also, uh, what I wanted to say about this thing here is it uh, has an auto gen start. And what I mean by that, uh, the inverter charger can start up a generator when the battery voltage goes low, uh, which I think truly can come in very handy uh, when it comes to building something out like this, if you have this rig to a generator, uh, and so on and so forth, in case you lose power, right? Basically, and then afterwards, it'll turn the generator off after the battery charging is totally finished. Uh, and what they mean by battery charging is having something like this, these batteries. Now, this is just one battery. Uh, depending on the size and what you got going on, you're probably going to want to do several batteries. So that being said, let me kind of get into this battery and give you an idea what I got and what I plan to do with this battery, uh, as well as this LFP series inverter by SunGold Power. All right, so we're going to jump over here to the Power Queen, this 12.8 190 amp hour lithium iron phosphate deep cycle battery. Now, this does have 150 amp BMS, uh, battery management system. Some of you folks uh, don't know what the BMS means, but that's what it means in regards to whenever you see that word BMS. Um, like I said, it has a 1920 watt max load uh, on this. Uh, so to give you an idea what its max output is, and then it'll kind of uh, create some issues there. But basically that's the max load that you want to put on something like that. You never want to push things too far to their max. You kind of want to have, find that happy medium uh, and whatnot. Now, one thing I wanted to say is they do have different size batteries, smaller ones, larger ones, all depending on the system that you're building out. Anyways, um, what else I wanted to go with this? Uh, basically, 
the BMS protects it from overcharging uh, and over discharging and over current and short circuiting and all the other different things that you can worry about. So it's always nice that the battery itself has a BMS built into it. Now, one thing that I keep on tripping over is the autom automotive grade prismatic cells. That is another mouthful right there, automotive grade prismatic cells. So basically that's basically what they're made out of, you know what I mean? And uh, they're just kind of, when you, when you, basically to make it in layman's terms, it's basically high density and stable, all right? So high density and stable, that's what the whole automotive grade prismatic cells thing kind of breaks down to. Anyways, you do have multiple safe charging methods with this. I mean, you can use, uh, what is it? You can use a lithium iron phosphate battery charger. You can use a DC uh, output with the voltage anywhere from 4.2 to 4.14.6, 14.2 to 14.6. Uh, and uh, if you want to use a solar panel, which I, when I do the review of this, I'm going to add a solar panel to this, and we're going to do some deep dives on that as well. Uh, or you can use, use an electric generator. So multiple uh, charging options as well. Now, uh, one thing that they, you know, they have on their website, and I did a little look into it, you know, the eco-friendly thing. Some of you folks who are going green, uh, and I don't mean green like, you know, I, I don't even want to go there, but you guys are trying to go off grid. Uh, you're about nature and you want to do this or this or that. Uh, you know, a lot of these lithium iron phosphates are more eco-friendly than your old school lead batteries. Uh, just for you folks out there that care about that or are concerned about that, uh, this is a lot more eco-friendly for your environment per se than your old lead acid batteries. I know some of you folks care, some of you don't. It's up to you. You know what I mean? This, hey, I'm just talking about it. Anyways, <laughs> the battery itself has a five-year warranty, uh, which is nice. Uh, so if you have uh, some issues, they do have a 24-hour customer service, uh, which they answer quickly, surprisingly enough. You're not on hold for, you know, days and hours, and they call you back seven days or seven weeks later, and you're like, uh, wow, that was the uh, thing. It's not like calling, F, uh, you know, your power company and saying, hey, I have a question, uh, and it takes you days to get a hold of them. Anyways, uh, running off to the side with that, but folks... Black Friday deals. That's what it's all about. That's what we're here for. Uh, Sun Gold Power, Power Queen. Links down below. Check them out. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comments. I'll answer the best I can. But again, remember, we are going to be doing some more deep dives. We're going to put something together. We're going to build this out together uh, on the channel, and we'll see how it all plays out. Lots of things that you can do with this Sun Gold thing. Uh, it's solid. Folks, I've talked to so many people about this thing to get their perspective on it. And they're like, yes, uh, it's an excellent product. And I'm glad that I get to work with them and uh, want to build a relationship with these folks. They have a lot other things on their things, a lot, a lot of other products on their page that you should check out, especially if you're doing an off-grid build, some sort of cabin in the woods, even if you want something a little bit smaller to run, let's say a little hunting lodge or something like that, you know, something where you just go out there for hunting and whatnot. Uh, it's nice to have quality products uh, that are going to work effectively when you want them to work. Anyways, folks, enough of me rambling on. Again, folks, remember, Black Friday deals, get them while, they're, while you can, you know what I mean? And that's up to you. If you have the finances to do this, uh, have at it. Because I've already, me, I've spent a lot of money on Black Friday deals all over the place uh, just because there's a lot of good savings. Uh, and it goes way beyond this. I should probably do some sort of live stream, just nothing Black Friday deals. But anyways, uh, to wrap this up, remember, folks, you are not alone. This is Gray Man. I'm out. I'll see you guys in a rebound. God bless and stay safe. And happy Thanksgiving.